Hey, what's up YouTube? I can't believe I cleared that fence. In this video, I'll be showing you how to make the Cramp Twins house from the show, The Cramp Twins. Just before we begin building everybody, here are all of the materials that you will need to make the house. Please do make sure that you have access to all of these materials and enough of them as well. The amount of space required to make the house is a 32 by 28 block area as represented by the white concrete grid on the ground which you are more than welcome to make if you do feel as though it will help you out. And that's it. Pause the video if you have to, make sure you have all that stuff, make sure you've got enough room to make it, and once you're ready, we can begin. Step 1, my classic Cartoon Network builders, come all the way over to the front left hand corner of your grid, if you've made it, and then count right of this corner, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, and then inwards, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6. We're going to start off this build by placing 9 quartz block on top of each other. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9. We're then going to extend right also by 9. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9. We then want to join all the way back down to the ground, just like this. And once we hit the ground, we want to go left by 5. So. One, two, three, four, five. And then up by four. One, two, three, four. We want to go left. And then we want to hit the ground, just like this. So this is where the entrance will be. You can place a row of block of quartz, just joining the entrance together at the bottom. We can place quartz slabs in front of where the entrance will be to give us a bit of a step up into the doorway. There is not an actual door, that doesn't mean that you can't add one, but we have a faux door, meaning fake, and we want to place two rows of blue concrete directly behind this open gap here, with cyan stained glass directly on top of the blue concrete. What we can then do is place upside down quartz stairs right of the door in this big empty space here, and two rows of cyan stained glass pane directly on top of the upside down stairs. Place a block of quartz directly on top of the panes, and then above and to the right here, we want to place three upside down one, two, three quartz stairs, block of quartz on the end, add another block of quartz and join it upwards like this to create a separation. Left of this, we want to place two upside down quartz stairs in the large empty space left, with block of quartz left of the upside down stairs joining upwards. That will give us a shape that should look very much like this. What you can also do is place a row of stone brick wall. This row of stone brick wall will actually go all the way from the bottom of the build where we have the left side of the kind of like the doormat slash kind of like step that we have all the way up into the build and it will go all the way up to the top of the frame there. Uh, we can completely fill in all of the remaining empty space on the front of the build just like this. And what we then want to do is we want to take the very top of the build here where we have this nice horizontal row of block of quartz and we want to progressively add layers and layers and layers and layers and layers and layers of block of quartz like this very much akin to a pyramid. We can add the outline of the roof as well. The outline of the roof is going to be made using dark oakwood stairs. They basically start all the way on the left and right of the block of quartz areas that we have for the front of the building. Um, they go up and down, they extend forwards over the front of the build just like this, and we have the overhanging layer of dark oakwood stairs just like this, and we then add upside down dark oakwood stairs underneath the hanging layer just like so, and that will give us a nice trimmed roof, it looks pretty cool like this. Now, we are missing a couple more details, but we will be adding those by the end of the build. The next thing that we're actually going to do is work on the width of the build, which is going to be very easy because we'll take the entire left and entire right sides of the build, and we'll extend them all backwards by nine rows using block of quartz. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, just like this. So, 
if you simply begin by extending the entire left and entire right sides backwards, we can then add some details onto the back of the build because the back of the build is not quite just simply, uh, it, it's not just a big blank canvas. I was actually able to get a nice shot of the back of the build whilst I was doing research for this and I do know roughly uh, some window positions and a door position on the back of the build so uh, we're not kind of, we're not flying blind as we usually are so there we go we want to have something which should look like that and as you can see that's um, most of the living space that's the width of the build so what we're going to do next well we have to make a door that is parallel to the one on the front of the build we also have to make the same window so if you like you can just join the entire bottom of the build together and then you can make the same door frame shape that you have on the front of the build, like this. Just like so. We want to have the same door, so you can place the blue concrete same way. Two rows of blue concrete inside the empty space with the cyan glass uh, block on top of it. Uh, the window is the same as well, so upside down quartz stairs just with two rows of cyan stained glass pane. But the main difference on the back of the build is... We only have the small window. There's not a large window on the back of the build. We only have the small window. So, uh, yeah, I don't know whether... Um, I don't know whether they just don't like light in the back of the build or what. But, um, yeah, we only have to copy the small window. We do not have to copy the large. And uh, that's it. So, it's actually almost identical apart from this one window. Curiously, I don't know why. I didn't uh, I didn't do the original drawing, the original design of this. I, I can only do what uh, the creators of the Cramp Twins have done. So, um, we also have to copy the shape of the roof. So, that means the stacking pyramid structure of the block of quartz. Um, oh, th th there would, of, of course, be kind of like a little step as well leading up to the back door or leading down from it, whichever way, you're, whether you're coming or going. Um, and then we just have to add the... Uh, we just have to add the roof. So uh, I would find it easier, and you might as well, to basically just uh, do the same thing that we did on the front, in which you basically you form the structure of the roof here on the edge. You, you place the dark oakwood stairs and... Hanging underneath it, we place the upside down dark oakwood stairs like this. Like so, so we get a nice overhang like this, hanging off the back of the house. And then we can place our rows of dark oakwood stairs, um, just joining front to back. So very, very simple roof structure. Uh, we are also going to be placing, and I'm glad that I remember this because I, I'll admit, sometimes it's very easy to forget about a chimney and there is one and i'm going to say that out loud all the way up at the top of the build there is going to be a chimney okay so the chimney is actually oddly enough there's a lot of weird things about this house to be honest with you oddly enough the chimney is pretty much right in the middle of the roof which is very very uncommon it's literally like where the two where the middle of the top of the middle of the roof is pretty much so you can eyeball it it doesn't have to be 100 percent perfect it's made out of block of quartz and the block of quartz is simply going to uh, just exist in a two by two by two square so uh, it's almost not even you know that noticeable i guess it is in contrast to the very very dark um, dark oak wood stairs but uh, as long as you place that there we're still being as uh, as factual as we can possibly be knowingly factual of course uh, we uh, it's possible that we have missed some things but not uh, not knowing is uh, completely different than just leaving them out so that is the main hunk of the house complete that is the main main part of the build done uh, the next thing that we're going to do is we're going to work on the garage the garage is going to begin on the front bottom left hand corner of the house here we're going to move two rows back one two and then we're going to place a row of one two three four block of quartz extending upwards like this from the ground we're then going to place four quartz slabs one two three four extending left block of quartz on the end and we join it down to the ground we then want to take the block of quartz that hit the ground and we want to extend backwards. The point of this is that it will want to connect one row before the end of the end of the house, meaning you just want to have that little row there on the end. Uh, we're going to make the entire back of the garage as tall as the front of the garage without using any slabs. We'll do the same on the left side also. The only thing that I just remembered on the left side is the fact that there is a large window. The large window is one row below the top 
of the frame of the garage and it spans the width of the garage almost so we basically have a uh, a big glass pane um, window on the side of the garage uh, the garage door is going to be made out of blue concrete we'll probably alter the window the window is now going to be <laughs> One row shorter on both sides as to accommodate the garage door. Uh, that's how the garage door looks. Um, when it comes to the roof of the garage, we simply start off by placing a dark oak wood slab on the top left hand side of the garage. We extend the slab forward towards us and then we extend the slab right and up, right and up, right and up. Eventually it will hit the side of the house. Like so. We can then fill underneath the garage roof in using a block of quartz like this. And we want to extend all of the dark oak wood slabs towards the back. Um, just as with most roofs, I find it easiest to do both sides like this, uh, meaning the front and the back or... You know, however you want to look at it, the left and the right. I find it easiest to make the hardest part of the roof first, which is, of course, the overhang in which all the shape is derived from, and um, then just connect the front and the back together, kind of like this. And um, you can use dark oak wood uh, planks in uh, in use of every other. Uh, instead of using uh, dark oak wood slabs in every other like part of the roof, but it's so small it's uh, it doesn't even matter that much. And that is what the main bulk of the house will, will look like, ladies and gentlemen. You know, we've we've actually done a really really good job there. What are we going to be doing next? Well, the next thing that we're going to do is let me let me just chuck all of this stuff away. Not to mean that we're not going to be needing all of this stuff again, but uh, we're going to need birch sign, birch wood. We'll need um, spruce wood planks. We'll need dark oak. Uh, a dark oak wood door um we need uh dark oak wood stairs and dark oak wood slabs and we we will need more stuff but we'll um we'll just temper ourselves a little bit so when it comes to the actual door of the house here we're basically going to have a birch sign here on the left side and right of it a birch button that is supposed to look like sort of a letterbox and that is of course the door handle um on the back of the house we wouldn't have a letterbox so we're going to simply have a door handle we do have a small shed on the back of the house. Now, the small shed is very, very easy to make. We're going to grab ourselves these spruce wood planks here. And we're going to come all the way to the back left-hand corner of the garage. We're going to count backwards and find the 11th block coming out of the back of the garage. Meaning 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11. Spruce wood plank. We're then going to extend backwards by 1, 2, 3, 4. Yeah. Uh, what we then want to do is extend across to the right also by the same, I want to say, yep, one, two, three, four, extend forwards. Left of that, you'll place a dark oak door, then two spruce wood planks extending left. There is a small window. The small window can be made out of any variety of glass. It's basically one row away from the door right here in the middle. We want to raise up the left, basically we want to raise up the entire sides of our little shed here that we're making just like this and um, we want to have it so that the shed is three rows high in total like so on the front and the back of the shed we want to create a little pyramid structure by extending the three middle blocks and then the center block like this we then want to place dark oak wood stairs the dark oak wood stairs are going to be placed in rows extending up and down the sides of the shed that we're making and it will have there we go so up and down it looks a little bit rudimentary at the moment but we'll have the dark oak wood slabs extending forwards and backwards across the apex of the roof we then want to have dark oak wood stairs overhanging the shed like so uh, it will also overhang the back and in addition to this we'll have a dark oak wood plank hanging under the overhang and we'll have upside down dark oak wood stairs hanging underneath the overhang as well and once again on the back of the build same sort of thing um I say same sort of thing, literally the same thing. It doesn't differ, so I don't know why I said same sort of, but there we go. We want to place the same upside down dark oak wood stairs with the same plank. And that will give us the shed. Very, very simple indeed. We have the house. The next thing that we are going to do is, we're just going to chuck all of this stuff away here, and we're going to grab the grey concrete, lime terracotta, green terracotta, birch fence, oak sapling, bone meal. Okay, there are two trees. 
when it comes to the Cramp Twins family home. One of the trees is in the front right hand corner of the garden. Place a sapling and bone meal it up, preferably it's not massive, and that one isn't. There is, in addition to that, another tree towards the back of the house, in a similar sort of position but pretty much just like in the back corner. Again, we've not got a, a massive tree, so that's perfect. There's a driveway. The driveway is, uh, is basically the same width as the garage door and the driveway is made out of grey concrete. The grey concrete will come all the way to the outer boundary of the house and even further depending upon how you've got your world set up. There is a fence that goes all the way around the edge of the property. The fence is basically sits on the entire boundary except for the driveway that we have just made. So quite conveniently, um, we can simply just place it all upon this white concrete, which we are, have, oh, are going to have to change um, from something that's not white because it doesn't really make any sense uh, for it to be white. So there we go, looking good. Next, we want to destroy all of the remaining grass. The grass is basically going to spam from left to right, through the house, around the house, you guys get the idea, and we'll have this pattern of grass. It's fake grass, it's very, very, they actually have this in the actual show, um, because it, it must just be mowed like this in particular, lines at different depths, or whatever it is they do to it, basically. Two rows of lime terracotta, two rows of green. Repeated in pattern, extending from front to back, from left to right, goes all the way through. I'm also going to add cyan uh, concrete behind the windows as to make it look a little bit better. I may also add a little bit of a pavement in front of the house. I'm going to do the grass, the windows, the driveway, perhaps a pavement, I'll see. And once I've done all of that, I'll be back. That is the last thing that needs doing. It doesn't have to be shown on recording because hopefully it's quite uh, quite simple as to what you have to do. I'll be back in a moment once I have accomplished all of those many tasks. So this is what your house will look like once it has been 100% fully completed, ladies and gentlemen. As you can see, I have ripped up all the grass and I have replaced it with the luscious looking green and lime terracotta. You may also notice that I completed the driveway and I also added some cyan concrete just behind the windows to make it look a little bit better. I decided not to do any sort of pavement or street related stuff, I've, I've kind of just left it as it is, but you're more than welcome to add that if you like. And that's it, I do hope that you guys enjoyed this tutorial, if you did please do remember to hit that like button, it really helps me in the channel out very very much. If you're new around here please do consider subscribing and clicking the little bell next to the subscription button, that'll ensure that you get all my stuff sent directly to your sub box. And if you do want to make anything else by me, check out the card system in the description below. That will allow you to find all my other cartoon related builds, old and new. Thank you so much for watching everybody, I'll see you guys in the next one, goodbye!